Mm. For like three seconds. There's so much news. I know, it's been a day. Oh. It's been a day of it. I promised myself this morning um, that in the morning for half an hour, I'm not going to see any news. Hmm. But I woke up 30 minutes before the alarm hit. Yeah, and there was news. And there was news. Technically, Hmm. technically, (laughs) I didn't wake up and read the news. (laughs) I I didn't wake up with the alarm and read the news. Yeah, you, you cheated the system there. Yes. Yeah. So, welcome guys, this is our day two. Day two of quarantining ourselves, mm-hmm. self-quarantining ourselves here in Cook's Beach mm-hmm. in New Zealand. So, we came back from Mexico. Yep. And, um... Where we had an amazing time, photographed the wedding, uh, had a workshop, mm-hmm. and then watched as the world slowly closed down around us. <laughs> in, the, in seven days. And just managed and to squeak back out of Mexico before they closed the border. We so, tried yeah. multiple days to take an earlier flight. Mm. Flights were full. Um, or the airports, one of the days we went to buy a ticket or, you know, see what's happening. Mm. The airport was so freaking full that we were like, nope. Yep. Nope. So uh, the way it planned out was played out was really great, actually. We ended up having, like, most of the plane to ourselves. Mm-hmm. And had a great sleep all the way home. Yeah. Yeah. So that was really nice and not worried about wearing masks all the time Mm. on the flight as well. But anyways, coming back to our quarantine. Yeah, we're here now. So what happened on day one, uh, you Mm. can see here. Quarantining is a way of life for us artists. Anyways, <laughs> we sit at home all of the time, mm. windows shut, everything shut, and we are editing photos. So this is not something that is new for us. What yeah. is new is the emotions and constant news and um, the lack of adventure. Yeah, the uncertainty. The that's tears, yeah. the broken dreams, all of that that we are fielding yeah. right now. Helping our couples pick new dates for their weddings and Helping our going community. through that realization that this may not happen or probably can't happen and yeah. shouldn't happen. Yeah. Yeah. And then helping our community as well and staying strong for them and mm. them staying strong for us. So that is the new part of this. So mm. what we had planned for our quarantine was, okay, so we have two weeks. Um, here's a huge list that we had to do anyways mm-hmm. and uh, let's use this time to do it. However, what has happened is that we both have been consumed by news um, and at times not even news, just listlessly walking Mm. back and forth in our home, um, not knowing what to do with ourselves. Yeah, I think we've also been quite worried about the state of the wedding industry at the moment. Um, Photographers who are still going out to take photos currently and are just sharing with us that they're really worried. Um, photographers who have been at weddings where there are people with COVID-19 mm. and it's not just photographers, it's the other vendors in the industry too. So yeah. we've been working, um, you know, with them to try and figure out a way around this and maybe make it a more, more yeah. known. So, um, you get so the government been, onto this. Yeah. So today I wrote an open letter to Jacinda Ardern, our mm-hmm. prime minister. Um, and so did a couple more people from the industry. Mm. So now it's being shared on social media. So that is yeah. good. So um, I just want to say right here, guys, that it's seriously breaks our heart to have to say we don't think now is a good time to do weddings no um it it, yeah it's a very hard thing especially for us as wedding photographers who have just been made redundant for like the next six months but also because we are not just wedding photographers this is not just business for us these couples are our friends we have followed from the day um they proposed to each other then planned their um you know engagement session Mm. and then planned their wedding All of that time, we've been with them throughout every step of the way. So Mm. seeing their dreams not fully realized in the day they want Mm. um, is really heartbreaking. So today we had our last call with one of our couples and Mm. then cried. Mm -hmm. I was trying to be very, very strong, but but there's light in the end of the tunnel. This is not forever. Yeah. Weddings are going to happen. Celebration, big parties. We're going to party like never before. Heck it's yes. When humanity beats this thing, it'll be like World War Two ended all over again. So. Yeah. So we're going to party and all of that is going to happen. But mm. 
right now probably is not the time yeah it's a somber time yeah now's the time for you guys to just take the time while you're in your house to sit down check out what we're up to each day we're gonna yeah. check in just like this <laughs> and then you know how our quarantine's going we are doing yeah. this because essentially we are storytellers yeah. and we've been made redundant for the next six months but that shouldn't mean that we stop telling stories. So we're going to tell you stories of our time mm -hmm. under self-quarantine. Some days will be sad. Mm. Some days we will be spiraling out of our head. Some days will Hopefully be <laughs> hilarious. Yeah. Um, we would try to keep what's happening around uh, the world at bay. We'll manage to do that mm. some days. Uh, we are both empaths and it, things really deeply affect us. Mm -hmm. as I'm sure affects a lot of you. Um, so it, those days will be hard, but we are going to make them happen just mm -hmm. for mental health purposes. Uh, some days we'll be creative. We'll try and um, do some sort of Tinted Tuesday self-portraits that we haven't done before. Yeah, totally. I mean, we've got Attempt this those. awesome wallpaper I've been wanting to use forever yeah. in this. This is uh, actually, we're staying in my parents' beach house. We're super lucky. Yeah. Um, as far as quarantining goes, it's a pretty good gig. It's an amazing yeah. place. And uh, the wallpapers in every room are amazing. Spectacularly so. <laughs> 70s. It's very cool. So you can do something creative <laughs> and fun. Um, if you guys comment below and you want us to share with you something that we have learned or mm. that we already are doing or want us to do something different, please let us know in comments below. Yeah. We are reading them. Yeah, and we're happy to show up here each and every day. Yes. And just unload and yes. let you guys know what's going on, how we're uh -huh. feeling. And also and we'd love to hear how you're feeling yes. on the other side of this uh, little uh, magic box that we're talking to. So What this guy said. Yeah. <laughs> so today, uh, finally, uh, we were, uh, we've were we been in touch with the reporter. The um, story, m Might the go collective out. story yeah. of our wedding industry probably will be picked up and be out. We are not sure yet. Mm. How ever uh after the whole i've been up since six this morning mm. and it's what what's the time five ish now five ish yeah. now so we've been non-stop talking to vendors we've been non-stop talking to our couples um mm. to a couple of reporters and um yeah, yeah just writing posts one after the other mm. so i am absolutely describe, drained yeah do you want to describe the whole point of the we kind of touched on it a minute ago but the yeah. whole point of being in touch with the reporters was to try and get the plight of our industry and our vendors and all of our friends out to the government. For me, mm. for me, it was not just the plight of our industry to be out. That's it true. is um, as a citizen. Um, you want to protect everybody here, right? Yeah, yeah. It, it, we in our industry we can see how weddings can be a festering pool like a of germs. Like a perfect breeding ground for COVID nineteen. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So um, it's probably not that. Um, obvious for people who are not in our industry mm. to see that so it was about making sure that um there is no um, uneducated yeah brides and grooms to be out exactly there. Yeah. yeah thank you for completing my sentence <laughs> yeah we just want yeah. everybody to understand that it At is least quite no. a serious thing yeah. and we don't want new zealand to wind up like italy italy no. guys our hearts are going out to you so yeah. yeah we have friends um who are photographers from italy and hearing their stories is heartbreaking it's haunting, so it's it's not a cool place to be right now and we want to try and do like we're trying to do our part and that, making sure that new that, Zealand that is doesn't safe. their stories don't end up like our mirror our mm. reflection so yeah. it, that's that that has been the 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 thought behind mm. all the effort and work we put in today yeah. So I am absolutely drained. The so, idea yeah. was that we were going to edit a lot of photos. He was going to edit the, the video. Mexico yeah. video. Um, but mm -hmm. seriously, since morning, that's all we've done. We yeah. only had one meal um, because who had time? Mm. So now uh, what Ben has done is I am not a computer gamer at all. But turns out my brother left uh, Nintendo downstairs. <laughs> so um, that yeah. is the only so Mario is Mario and there was this racing car game. Was that like Mario Kart? No, it was like, you know, you have three cars and you will go zoom. zoom oh, are you talking zoom, like zoom. Atari? Like maybe. so far back? Yeah, um, maybe. So those <laughs> are the two games I've played and yeah. um, not much. So we but have some Nintendo Wii with. Super Mario Brothers on it. So that's going to be our unwind today. Yeah. And we'll see right now, I feel like going back to childhood. Mm. So um, after, I 
So for 20 years, I would be touching the console. The controller again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I probably will leave it in 10 minutes. But just the thought of doing something that I did in my childhood um, on them sunny days hmm. when these things were not clouding our world, our minds and our hearts mm. would be a nice thing to do. Yeah. So we will be back here tomorrow yep. uh, with, um, I don't know. Yeah. Time will tell Hopefully with we'll what. Hopefully we'll update you with uh, how the story went. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And if yeah. that's all gone to plan. Yeah. Right Hopefully, now, um, yeah. all we've heard is um, that New Zealand is on level two. Yes. Today, New Zealand announced that there are four levels to this whole coronavirus thing. We're mm -hmm. currently at level two. Yeah. And uh, if it goes up to level three, things might change a lot. And level four is like everyone in lockdown can't leave your house. So yeah, yeah. Our prime minister has <clears throat> done an amazing job. Has like, she? Yeah. I mean, she has battled uh, mass shooting. She has um, battled volcano eruptions. Mm. She has battled something else as well. Right. Something big happened. Oh my god! I'm so I'm, everything I think about right now is yeah. coronavirus. But then this pandemic. But yep. something else also happened. But she's done all of that uh, while having um, a child. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nursing a child who is, um, what, two, one? My God. Yeah, I be, should get my facts right. One and a half by now, yeah. Yeah, but um, amazing woman. Mm. And today when she was talking um, and giving this address to the nation, it, the calm voice that she has and the... The presence that she has mm. really helped me wind down. So that was the last thing I saw today. And uh, after that, I started winding down. And now I'm totally ready to s just chill. Just yeah. game and chill. Yeah. So we'll go and work on that. Make some popcorn. Yeah. Maybe. And, and co oh, we don't have Coke. No, but we have tequila. There's not tequila because oh, not good for not immune good, system. Yeah. We don't yes. know where we stand So before, um, before we arrived here, um, Ben's mum had put milk, onion, garlic, Egg. eggs yeah. Um, yeah, in yeah. our car. So we have at least got the essentials and our grocery is going to be delivered on the 23rd. So two days from now. Mm. And before we left for Mexico, Ben bought some packs of noodles. Yeah, I got like three packs of like big packs of noodles. So. Yeah. So Jokingly at the time, you know, like, like oh. ah, we'll be set for life. And uh, turns out we probably we actually do need them now. So. Yeah, so, yeah. So that's what we're eating the next three days. Mm. So this video was all over the place. It's our first one. And we just wanted to go like, and tell and you like, where hey we guys, are. Yeah. We're in this together. Yeah, we are here. Yeah. So from tomorrow, hopefully we'll be like more, let's talk about this first. And then let's talk about that first. I actually think Let's it's been rather cathartic. So thanks for listening, guys. Um, you guys are amazing. Yeah. Thank you for supporting our our art mm. and us through this tough time. Mm. Our hearts and our extreme gratitude goes to all the couples who have decided to postpone mm. and not cancel their days. Um, because thank you, thank you. We are like counting seconds mm. to celebrate your love story with you. We are counting seconds, you guys. We are just absolutely like somebody's, this coronavirus thing is like holding us back like this. And it's like the moment it leaves us, we're just going to go like flung towards you. Yeah. And just like, boom. Well, hello. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I can do that because I'm tiny yeah. and won't cause much damage. So I'm just going to be like, Woof! and just, <laughs> Woof! and then you'll see how excited I am. He is true. Uh, <laughs> so we cannot wait. And thank you for supporting our business and business of so many people mm. uh, who have uh, planned for your wedding, planned for your elopement, and for your adventure session. Mm. We are here and backing you up 100 freaking percent. Yeah. All right. Peace out, guys. And we'll talk to you tomorrow with day three. Bye. I never used to do the bye before, but then it became a thing because right now I feel like this is the bye we should be doing. And then one day it'll be like, oh, bye bye. And then one day it'll be like, bye. And then one day it'll be like, I want, don't want to say bye because I work according to how I feel rather than this is what my thing is. But hello, beautiful people will always be my thing because. Good, and uh, whatever. <laughs>